the problem right now is that um, there aren't Haitian professionals that have been trained um, to be able to participate in this sort of work. There are no pediatric cardiologists in the entire country of Haiti today. Um, there's only a handful of adult cardiologists. And on the surgical side as well, there, people just don't have experience with this sort of work. So I met Junior for the first time probably in early 2012. I got sick about medicine. They kind of, I was sick and then no one knew what I was doing and I got to the hospital and they gave me medicine that's not good for me and then it's, it started to affect my heart and I told my mom that my heart is not feeling good. He had been diagnosed maybe a year earlier and everyone knew that he needed surgery but we just hadn't had any luck in finding surgery for him. Um, and at that point he was still fairly healthy but he was getting sicker and sicker and weaker and weaker. I couldn't actually sleep well and every time I lay down I had the trouble to sleep so I have to sleep higher you know. Sometimes I just like sitting in my bed not sleeping. As the months went by um, and I saw him in January 2013. We still hadn't found a spot for him. You could tell he was getting weaker. Um, after that, we did find a spot for him, potentially up in Maine, um, at uh, Maine Children's Hospital. And they were going to take him a few months later. And I got a call that uh, Junior was very sick. He was in the hospital. Um, he was on oxygen. And we all knew that he probably wouldn't be able to wait that long. And so we went back to the hospital at Maine and, and we explained the situation and they were great. They said, bring him up immediately, let's do it. We got a passport and visa. And the first, February 1st, we went to the United States. And they went ahead and did the surgery. They put in a mechanical mitral valve, um, a little metal valve that he'll have in his heart for the rest of his life. And um, he recovered extremely well from that. After I get better and better, then I can run. So Junior is just one example of a child who absolutely would have died without the surgery that he got. And as we know, there are hundreds of others just like him, thousands really in Haiti, um, that are waiting for that same opportunity. Um, again, this opportunity is incredible because it's so transformative. You take someone who almost certainly wouldn't live more than a few months or a year, and you give them the opportunity um, to grow into adulthood and old age. And um, it's incredible to see.